Who here likes institutions of learning? Yeah! Anyone? Okay, school might not be the most fun you've ever had, but count yourself lucky you didn't go to any of these video game schools where you're more likely to be carried off by horrors than graduate with honours. Watch out for spoilers for the following games in the video ahead, and no talking in the back. Mr. Garrison, lock the gates and send the latecomers to my office. Yes, take advantage of the sunshine while it lasts. Leaf War High School from 2004 Survival Horror Obscure has a less than stellar safety record on account of how if you hang around too long after basketball practice you get attacked by zombies. It's too strong, let's get out of here! And how the corridors are full of skinless dog monsters. Oh my god, what's going on in this? And the principal tends to imprison and gas his students. It's Friedman! At my school, you didn't get imprisoned and gassed until your third offence. It turns out Leaf Moore's principal, Herbert Friedman, is actually over 100 years old and has been experimenting on students to create an elixir of youth distilled from rare plants. Oh, Leaf Moore High School. I get it. The zombies and monsters that now roam the halls are a result of his failed experiments on students. Hang on, you're well over 100, Friedman. Doesn't that mean you've already perfected the formula? Why are you still experimenting on kids? Give me the antidote or I'll shoot! You've already started to mutate! He seems busy. I'll ask later. Kids at the imaginatively named school from the Tony Hawk games have to deal with the everyday challenges of student life, but also with the daily threat of being barreled into at 50 miles per hour by one of skateboarding's hottest stars, which probably explains the lack of students. You could say that the school school board only has itself to blame. I mean, what did you expect to happen when you filled your common areas with long, grindable rails, sick kickers, and actual half pipes? And if I'm honest, the hovering letters that spell out the word skate seem a bit like an invitation, guys. No point getting upset about it now, Officer Dick. Look, when I applied to Cool School High, I know what I expected. A cool school. That name is practically a verbal contract. The prospectus mentioned nothing about eyeball monsters and zombies in the gym, and apes in baseball caps throwing spanners around in the- wait, they have a monster truck garage. Maybe I will still apply here. Oh wait, I forgot about the giant floating human hearts in the basement and the hovering flesh nightmare that kidnapped the head cheerleader who is called Samantha Pompom. -Pom. Well, what else are you going to do with a name like that? Luckily for Cool School High and for Samantha Pompom, -Pom, plucky student Spike O'Hara is willing to batter every ghost in the place with his collection of bats, towels, sandwiches, embalming fluid. Why do you have embalming fluid? Yeah, I'd stay away from him too, Samantha. In Final Fantasy VIII, Squall and his pals attend the prestigious Barlam Garden, a sci-fi looking academy right outside of idyllic Barlam. To fill its classrooms, the private military organisation that runs the place takes in infant orphans and trains them to become mercenaries. I see no ethical issues with this arrangement. Hello Amnesty International? Yeah, I'd like to report a school for child soldiers. No, it's in a video game. No, you're wasting my time. And if being hired out by your school to fight wars for the highest bidder didn't make your student days sufficiently risky, there was always the Jurassic Park-style training centre right in the middle of the place, stocked with actual deadly dinos. There's nothing fundamentally hazardous about St. Pigeonation's Institute from bizarre dating game Hatterful Boyfriend. It's a well-respected school, not just in Japan, but worldwide, with extensive curricula and facilities, according to the blurb. No wonder all the brightest, most gifted pigeons want to attend it. 
Yes, everyone except you is a bird. The students are birds, the teachers are birds. That guy who comes around every Tuesday to restock the vending machines? A bird. The only problem for you as the human player is that pigeons are known disease carriers and spread fungal diseases with exciting names like histoplasmosis and cryptococcosis. Ew. Still, given that you're considering dating one of them, I guess hygiene isn't top of your list of priorities. <laughs> Tayo High School from Capcom's rival school series has a lot to recommend it, although I'm not sure about the gym teacher. The main problem with Tayo High is that students can't go five minutes without kids from another local school turning up looking for a fight. Hey! You are Tayo Gakuen no Seito, desho? Shugeki sarita te hotu desu ka? Tendo. Kimi tachi Tako no Seito ga. And we're not talking a scuffle around the back of the bike sheds either. These kids all have supernatural combat abilities that will straight up wreck your shit. Like, I'm pretty sure she's dead, guys. It's gotten so bad that class leaders have got all of the kids training in martial arts so they can defend themselves against the daily beatings they're receiving from rival students. <laughs> it's telling that help I'm in tremendous physical pain passes for a joke at Tayo High. Welcome to Skyrim's Mage School, the College of Winterhold, where the living is easy if you're the Archmage. All right, Dumbledore, don't get too comfortable. One day, this will all be mine. I trust that you'll inform me as soon as the staff is recovered. If you're a student, on the other hand, you've got a bed in a drafty tower, where some jerk's always coming in and stealing your stuff. Which would all be fine if it wasn't for the extreme and constant endangerment. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. Local rumour says the great collapse that blasted most of the regions surrounding the college into the ocean was brought about by mages at the college itself. I know there are some who have blamed the college, said that we were responsible. I assure you this is not the case. If so, it's only a matter of time before some magic genius finishes the job and blows the place itself to smithereens. And then there's the dragon always parked up in the courtyard trying to flambe you every time you step outside. If he doesn't get you, it will be some treacherous mage advisor whose magic ambition gets you magic murdered. Yes, I'm looking at you, Arcano. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. This is so irritating! San Romero High School in Lollipop Chainsaw is a pretty average American high school in itself. It's the student body that's the problem. If you thought tensions between the various cliques in your school were bad, count yourself lucky an awful Marilyn Manson tribute act didn't flood your school with gases from a zombie dimension that turned everyone into mindless undead. <laughs> I did it! At least the game establishes early on that there's definitely no cure, so you can feel absolutely fine about carving a bunch of your zombie classmates and teachers into bite-sized chunks with a bedazzled chainsaw. Unfortunately, once they have become zombies, there is no return! You say unfortunately, I say wouldn't want to try and explain that one to the principal. Much like the Spanish Inquisition, nobody expects the zombie apocalypse, but you could argue that the school's motto was a bit of a bad omen. Non mortus ergo sum is a bit of cod Latin that roughly translates as I'm undead, therefore I am. Also, it's named after famed zombie movie director George Romero. Starting to wonder how this school went so long without being overrun by zombies. Hey, it's Mr. Fitzgibbon again. Those were the video game schools less educational than a coffee table made out of shoelaces. Sorry, I did really badly at analogy school because all the classes were held in an active volcano. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and we're more excited to see you back on Outside Xbox than a chair made of microphones. That course was such a waste of $8,000.
Thanks for watching this video about awful schools that you would never want to go to in video games, but why not educate yourself about the, hist thanks, about the history of video games through our excellent feature playlist, where you can find out all about crazy games from the past. Those are down there. You should click on that and educate yourself in that thing I just said. Or if you want to learn about things that are happening right now, or I mean in the past because it's old episodes, but there's Show of the Week over there, sort of di direction, James. Does that look uh, right up? Right in the street, that, yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. Thank you, James, for that. <laughs> Uh, you can click on Share of the Week and watch episodes of that, which is great fun, and I think you will enjoy it very much. And do, so, do we approve of them watching it at school? Yes, during yes, definitely. You'll learn a lot more from this than you will from your rubbish lessons. Qu quit school, kids. <laughs> Get out of it now. It's never going <laughs> to teach you. No, that's <laughs> terrible. Uh, stay in school, um, drink your milk, take your vitamins, and you'll grow up big and strong like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.